Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create bumpers uh, from like pinball and stuff like that uh, with some cool effects and stuff, so um, let's get started here. I have my bumper image, I actually have a few different bumper images that we'll cover, um, same effect, just different images. And I have my ball, and um, I've created an actor for walls. And uh, I guess the first thing we're going to do is, um, I kind of want this scene to be a little taller. Uh, so I can drop balls down. So I'm going to hit scene and then size and for height let's go to uh, 640. Just double the height. Now I'm going to go into my walls and I'm going to drag my walls around uh, the perimeter of my scene. Let's quickly drag them up from all the way around. Make them the size I want. And then my bottom one. Now it's important that we turn uh, movable off on the walls so that way they don't fly around when they get hit. And uh, restitution I'm going to put uh, zero so the walls aren't bound, have no bounce to them. Um, in my ball I'm going to tell it to collide with uh, the walls. Um, so let's use the collide rule. Uh, so tell them to collide with the walls. And I would make a copy of that and tell it to collide with other red balls in case I do more than one, and with the bumper. So now it collides with everything. I'm going to shrink those up, select them all, and um, so let me. Uh, my scene's a little too big here. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Uh, I'm going to hit create group so I can put them in a group and just uh, shrink them there. So I got some bumpers I'm going to throw in. Uh, I'll just throw a few around. Don't know how many I want. Just enough to... There we go. I'm going to change some of the images. Let's... Uh, have some fun with these here. Let's drag them over top. And one more here. That should be good. Okay, so I have these. Uh, let's give our background color something a little less blase. That's pretty cool. Okay. So we have our ball. First thing we need to do is um, give it some gravity. So we're going to say accelerate down um, and probably about uh, 400 I'd say relative to scene. Um, restitution on the ball is 1 but I'm going to put that to 0 I think. We may change that later. Now let's go zero, 0 0.2. You want to pick a number between 0 and 1. You don't really want to go over 1 unless you want it really bouncy. Um, for the bumpers we probably will. Um, so we got to accelerate down. So let me just throw a ball here. Preview. So it's going to come down and see how it's moving those bumpers. We want to we want to tell the bumpers that it's not movable also. So not movable. Let's do that again. Um, one other thing we need to do is cuz the balls and the bumpers are circles, we got to tell them that. So under physics we'll go circle for the bumper and for the ball we'll do the same thing. Circle. So now it should react a little differently. There we go. Okay. So it didn't get really much of a bounce off of the bumpers. So let's go into the bumpers now. And um, let's put restitution up to 2 and see what happens. There we go. Okay. So maybe let's go 1.5 just... Uh, so it's not so bumpy. Okay, so let's create a cool effect. Uh, first, let's um, make a sound. So whenever it overlaps or collides, we're going to throw in this bumper sound. I'm going to uh, select that and hit Create Rule. And I'm going to say when overlaps or collides with uh, the red ball. So now I'll hit Preview. Okay, so there we go. 
Um, and now we want to do a cool effect to the bumpers. Um, so let's go in here. And so when it overlaps, uh, overlaps or collides with ball, let's um, interpolate. And we'll interpolate self size width. And um, right now there our bumpers are 44 by 44. So let's go to uh, 33 for width. And we'll do uh, 0 0.1. And then I'll copy this. I'll press Alt Option, copy it down, and we'll change the height, self, size, height to 33 also, and we'll choose 0 0.1. Um, so we're going to shrink it a little bit when it hits to, to kind of give an effect of moving up and down. And then we're going to create a new rule, and we're going to say when attribute self, size, width equals 33. We don't need to do the um, height because they do it at the same time anyway, so we just need to use the one. And we're going to change, we're going to interpolate them back. So I'm going to select both of these, Alt Option, and drag and copy down. Um, you'll know it's copying if the green circle's there. And we're going to change them back to 44. Now we have Preview. Now you can see that they change size whenever they're being hit. Let's create another rule here. Um, let's put a controlling actor up here somewhere. No worries, just for fun. And I'm going to do create rule when mouse button is down. Let's spawn. Do, do, do. Let's spawn another ball. Oop, put that in there. Another ball, and let's make a random. Uh, random and the width of the scene is 480 pixels so let's go random 20 to 460 close bracket so now whenever I, uh, I tap on the screen it will spawn another ball let's do a few of them and that's pretty much it um, that's all you really need to know about how to make a cool bumper effect in Game Salad. Uh, head on over to gshelper.com. You can download the project file right underneath the video for free. Play around with it. Do what you want with it. Uh, in this video, you can use the art. So you use, you feel free to use the art whatever way you want in the game. Um, I've given this art, out art, this art out to a lot of people, so there's no worries about that. So again, head on over to gshelper.com and uh, download the demo. And um, don't forget to thumbs up the video and uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. Talk to you soon.